by 1570, the Lutheran Church and Calvinism have spread throughout the empire and Europe. Vast territories and imperial cities have been won for the new religion. Then, it grinds to a halt. It was thought that the spread of Protestantism would continue unabated, but it finally reached its limit as the last territory became evangelical. In fact, many reconverted to Catholicism, and for the Protestants, that generated a keen sense of danger, as well as the feeling that now they must defend themselves. The struggle for power and the true faith becomes more acute. Violent confrontations occur ever more frequently within the empire, in which the Catholic side massively prevails. The provisions of the Peace of Augsburg are violated time and again by all sides. By the late 16th century, the relationship between the denominations is marked by growing distrust and aggression. Regensburg, 1608. In the city on the Danube, the Reichstag is in session. The mood is tense, for negotiations are clouded by many denominational conflicts. As with other sovereign bodies, the Reichstag, too, is in danger of paralysis. The Catholic Emperor is to confirm the Peace of Augsburg. Protestants and Calvinists everywhere fear their religious freedom threatened and refuse to recognize the majority decisions of the Reichstag. That could no longer function because the Protestants were always in the minority, which is why they opposed them and said, no, we cannot submit to the majority anywhere where religion is a concern and moral issues are involved. And that is why the Reichstag proved fruitless, for the Protestants were no longer prepared to submit to this procedure. Thus firmly closing all doors to a peaceful settlement. Every future denominational dispute can now escalate until it comes to war. Shortly after the shattered Reichstag in Regensburg, the Protestant Union is founded under the leadership of Prince Elector Friedrich of the Palatinate. One year later, the Catholic League joins forces under Maximilian of Bavaria. These are defensive alliances in times of growing distrust on all sides. Ten years later, the time has come. The defenestration of Prague triggers the Thirty Years' War.